Hey, what's up guys, Ali here from iSocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I wanna to talk about Facebook ads policies, about these crises, what's going on in the world right now. If your Facebook ads are getting rejected or disapproved, then you wanna pay attention to this video. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. So Facebook has recently updated their policies about these crises, and I will leave the link in the description below, so make sure you review this, because it has really, really good information, and I know a lot of my students were reaching out to me based on different products that they were trying to promote, but Facebook was rejecting the ads, or in some cases, the ads were approved. They ran for like two weeks, three weeks, and then the ads were getting disapproved and rejected. And actually, that's what happened uh, with some of our ad accounts. For example, right here, our ad was rejected, and the main reason was exactly that. Facebook said, hey, based on these crises, we have updated our policies, so make sure you change it. And we were able to, so once I reviewed uh, these guidelines or these policies, we were able to make the tweaks and get the ads back up and running in like instantly in just like a couple of hours. So once you understand these policies, it's really easy to kind of tweak your ads and in your ad copy to make sure you are in compliance with Facebook's policy. The biggest thing they're trying to do is um, make sure no one is trying to take advantage of the situation. So when you look at this link again, the link is gonna be in the description below. So the main thing is that they have to tell you exactly what you should not do. And here's the prohibited products. And these products are temporarily banned. So things like face masks, uh, things like other, other masks, uh, hand sanitizers, test kits, a lot of these things, they're temporarily banned from advertising. So if you wanted to run ads or for any of those products, guess what? Don't do it. And if you have, you know, in my case, a lot of, uh, I was getting approached by different uh, e-commerce stores or uh, different cl potential clients, and they were selling some of these products. And guess what? The answer is, you know, probably do not want to get in trouble with Facebook. So don't run, you know, these ads. So if you scroll down, they also tell you what type of content is prohibited. So any, any claims uh, that kind of say, hey, we'll, we'll prevent this, you know, these crises or any other product, urgency, fear, uh, if you're inciting that, should not, right? And then they also um, give you examples of what's allowed under this policy. So actually the example that I showed you earlier where one of our ads was rejected uh, because of that, and we know we're not doing anything wrong, but it was just Facebook's AI, it picked up some of the words that we had in the ad copy, and based on that, it rejected the ad. And guess what, once I reviewed this, so you know, maybe you are a cleaning business and you're helping people reopen by providing cleaning services, uh, and the businesses that are reopening after the lockdown, after the crisis, and maybe you're not doing anything wrong, but you know, Facebook's AI picked something uh, from the ad copy and rejected the ad. So you're able to, once you review this, in our case, we were able to make a small tweak in the ad copy, and guess what? It was you know good to go uh, with, the, with the Facebook. The main thing is make sure if you are running Facebook ads, especially uh, for businesses who are providing uh, these type of services or any of these type of products, so make sure you read this link in detail because you're still able to run ads. You can inform people about the changes in your business hours. You can, you can tell people, hey, we're open. We're open for business. We can help you. So you can create those type of ads. Um, so totally allowed. But obviously, you do not want to mislead people. That's not allowed. And there, there's some products that Facebook listed that you, know, that you should not be advertising or running ads for. Those products are temporarily banned, the face masks and hand sanitizer and some of the other ones, right? So Facebook gives, Facebook gives you specific examples of the ads that are not allowed, um, you know, anything that's deceptive, foul, uh, false, uh, misleading, claims, stay away from it. So yes, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you leave those questions uh, below. And you know, one thing, do you realize that this is fairly new? I think Facebook put this article up just a couple of uh, weeks ago, and I recently found this, and that's why I wanted to share this. I know a lot of my audience, a lot of my students, they run Facebook ads, and sometimes the Facebook ads are getting uh, rejected, and you feel like it's because of these crises. Uh, make sure you review this document. Look at the example that Facebook is giving you, what's allowed and what's not allowed, because this will help you clean up your campaigns and make you uh, help you run your Facebook ads effectively. If you have any questions on Facebook ads, you know what to do. 
leave those questions in the comments below and also before you go subscribe hit the bell icon and also like this video and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye for now